Hey everyone, welcome to this intermediate surface modeling tutorial in plasticity and I just want to show you something so you can follow along and learn something because I always see this mistake that beginners are doing. So I have this product here, right? So it's from my new surface modeling um, course First link in the description where we will model this DJI Pocket Cam with 100% intermediate surface modeling techniques. And the thing is, so we have the situation here, right? So just check out here this edge. So for example, some people would come to this point and they are, oh, okay, that's fine. And I just want to give it a fillet, okay. So let's give it here a fillet and they might think, oh, mm, yeah, okay, that's fine. But it's DDI, right? It's like the top industrial design company in the world with Apple. But this is just too basic. And honestly, it doesn't look good because look, this, this fillet, so as in one of my previous tutorials, this fillet just goes into uh, like with this triangular shape and it just does not look good. It's just too harsh and it's just not smooth and it's just not quite right. Because also if we check out the original reference images, we see that they don't use a fillet at the situation, but they use a chamfer. And oftentimes, because look, the, the thing is, you have all around, so especially here, all around where we have those beautiful patches here, which you will learn in the course how to create those perfect patches which are they're just beyond amazing and the thing is they are organic they are round they are smooth but if you put like just a fillet on top of that and then comes here this flat surface like the transition is weird it goes from round to round to flat you know but DJI did something interesting and that's why I love this product and learn from those products they they made a interesting tr transition with the chamfer so so this is the result right so i will show you how we can do that in a second but i just want to explain to you and i know 90 percent of the people are not watching anymore because i talk too much but yeah they will anyway nothing achieve in their life but you see we have this rounded shapes and then we have first like this interruption of the chamfer which by the way you see smoothly transitions into this circular shape here and also here at the bottom you see so it's always going straight so exactly as we have here in the reference image so you see it also here in the front you see it's always the same distance and it's smoothly transitioned into the circular shape and then we give this chamfer additionally some fillets right and then we have this flat surface here and it's i don't know like it's not randomly right so you see, this just looks like a boy, you know, and this looks like a mature man or something, you know. So then you might think, yeah, okay, what's the problem? Let's go a few steps back and just let's select this edge here. And so we can give it the fillet, right? Why? Right? Let's just give it the chamfer. But bam, you see, we can't give it the chamfer because... We did everything with surface modeling and most of the time like those boy baby beginner techniques will not automatic things will not work you know so we have to do it manually spend a little bit more time but we will get again one million times better results and this tutorial is about exactly that so let's have a look so below this video you can download this practice file here so you can follow along and we have to give it a chamfer, right? Because it's just not working. So we need to create a pipe. So this is the yeah the industry standard normal technique which is always used. So we select all of those edges around, press Shift D to duplicate to isolate it, and now first we have to rebuild it with click on points and many many points because here you see the more you give. Points. So the more points you give, the smoother the curve will be and the more it will be exact as our shape. So that's what we want, 200 points. Okay, and now press P for pipe and now give it here a nice section size. So yeah, right now for the tutorial, I, I, I'm just guessing here, press okay. You don't need the curve after the pipe anymore. 
And perfect, but now you see the pipe is not completely intersecting this surfaces or this surface here, right? So we always have to select this end of the pipe, shift click and extrude this. And now it's intersecting. And now we just want to Boolean. So we just want to cut this surface with this pipe here. So we have this hole that we can fill it then, right? But we don't want to cut into our circle. So our circle have, has to be a circle without this hole here. So just select the circle and all J just to unjoin for now. And now press object mode or tab or four, select face, shift click our pipe and Q to Boolean that. Bam. Right click, press four, select everything, join. And now voila, you see we have exactly what we want because now we have a distance. Now what we can just do, we can just select those edges and loft them. But you see this edge is way longer than this one. So you have to select this face here and search for isoparam. So it's for me, control R. So control R and just break up the shape and just loft that here with G0 because we want a hard chamfer. And yeah, let's just do it one more time together. So we have to loft this edge with this, but this is too long. So select the face, control R, isoparam and just loft. And I will just go all around because the same process. Okay, so everything is fine. Press four, join everything. And now we are just left with those holes. So first of all, select this face and press control D or delete redundant topology just to clean it up. And perfect, because now you can just select this edge and this edge and just loft it with G0 here and just squeeze it. And now you can just yeah start with the patch and give it here G1. And you see this smoothly transitions into our circle here and the same at the bottom, alt click patch and perfect. And we have the perfect chamfer, which is perfectly transitioning into our circle and everywhere has the same size, right? But now what you should do is just again, give here a fillet to smoothen that out now, but just a tiny, tiny fillet. But again, same exact problem. This fillet is not perfect. It starts from zero and, and goes then to the fillet radius and just doesn't look so perfect. So you would have to do the same what we just did, but with the fillet. So if that's something you're interested in and you want to get out of this basic beginner stuff and you really want to learn, so especially if you like surface modeling and you have already some experience in surface modeling, then yeah, I can recommend you my new course that I just launched where you will learn how to create the sole action cam completely from scratch and do exactly all that. So you see our fillet is exactly the same size and yeah, much, much more interesting stuff. So you see the bottom, we have all this curvature around. So let me show it here in the, with the zebra, but you see everything is absolutely super perfectly connected with no issues at all. And you will really learn how to create high quality surface modeling if you have already a little bit of experience. But if not, if you are very new to surface modeling, but you like what you are seeing, I also have an action cam starter bundle where this course is included and my helmet surface modeling introduction course, which is perfectly for absolute level zero beginner. I will give you a full introduction into surface modeling. You will learn how to create this helmet completely from scratch. So again, first link in the description, you can just scroll down and click here on the helmet surface modeling course. If you want like the starter bundle and also you will get all of the information here, you will see exactly what you will get in the course, what you will be able to do. It's absolutely amazing. It's, it's so much fun to, to use surface modeling because yeah, it's the only way to achieve this kind of designs and products. So if you enjoyed that, leave a like and subscribe on this video so you don't miss my other surface modeling tutorials. I wish you a nice day. Bye.